Hello, my name is Maria and this is my attention to diversity exam. This year will be also the last year of us. Firstly, the teacher along with her teaching team will be in charge of using all the diversity in case of the difficulty. Also, he or she will have a personal academic data of the student, which are collected in the report and in her file regarding the situation, the education and guarantee will gather all the information from the science teaching team, her family and the school management team, and the guidance counselor will develop a school educational proposal. On the other hand, if it is ready to continue with the psychopedagogical evaluation, the guidance counselor will direct the psychopedagogical report to collect and make value all the information related to the learning and teaching process. Then her needs will be identified and finally the educational guidance team will decide which is the best curricular proportion for her. In this case, she will be a school as an ordinary and an ordinary classroom. A significant curricular decision will be applied. I don't want to forget about the PAD made in the university to both teams. Apart from this, the learning counselor will work on the area with the rest of her teaching and students to issue the needed support for her learning and development. Then after the report, an advisory student in school will be decided. Finally, the teacher team and the teacher will be the PTI, which needs to be approved by the principal. Other expertise will participate in this process. The PT teacher could work with mainly the stimulating aspects that can require from more specialized treatment. The EA teacher is charge of dealing with language and communication difficulty, and finally the TA if it is necessary. At the same time, the classroom will be a structure according to the age and the needs of the child, and it will be divided in different areas regarding different aspects, and this information will be used to support the child's instruction. Finally, the child family must be informed in all this process about the different methods and procedures that will be carried out. Okay, let's just start with the educational laws in Spain. Although there are some previous ones, I will focus mainly on LOCSE, LOE, and LOCSE. LOCSE is the first step to a more inclusive education and establishing a unique educational system for all students. Moreover, it's the, the first time when the term student with learning difficulties is addressed. These students are addressed to a student with any kind of disability and also are those whose needs are linked to their social or cultural context, the educational and school history, or with personal condition. Finally, it is stated that the student will only attend a student education at school if their necessities cannot be met in an ordinary center. The concept of the student with learning difficulties changed to students with special educational needs. We think that those who own the students with learning difficulties from a point of view, and for example, a student with high intellectual abilities or living incorporation into the school system. With this law, we change from talking to integration to inclusion and normalization. This means the principle of inclusion is established in order to achieve equity among all individuals in society. We clearly take the idea of including all children in social and educational life. Quality, equity, and inclusion are the base of this law. We support equality of education and equal opportunities for all students without distinction. It also established all students should develop their abilities to their maximum. And to make it happen, education could be adapted to their aptitudes, interests, expectations, and needs. In addition, their schooling will be based on inclusion, normalization, equity, and non discrimination. Finally, the student continuation in the education system will be warranted, being possible to use different methods of support to adapt the different educational stages to the individual needs. As they have been able to reflect and put into practice in this exam quite well all the concepts we have learned during this subject. Also, I have one step further as I feel now more conscious of how important an inclusive education is, and I will bring all of this in my future role as teacher. I have learned that basically is something innate in all human beings, and therefore it exists in education. This way, high quality attention should be given to diversity in education during the entire school life of a student. Diversity is a reality, and it must be considered as something that enriches society, not as, as an inequality element. Education is a right for everyone, and the students who present difficulties or any kind of special needs are part of that everyone too. So, the only way of assuring their correct instruction and development is attending their necessities effectively. I have noticed there is still a long way to achieve rural inclusive educational system and to provide the students students, teachers and the centers with the necessary resources, wherever the time, in order to really face the reality uh, of educational centers.